Hello, today we're going to speak about replacing a geyser on a bathtub. So, essentially here for the purpose of the video I have the tub mounted so it's easier to see. Um, not a lot of stuff going on, looks complicated but really isn't, it's very simple to replace. And so what we'll do is we'll go through those steps. Um, so what is important to look at is the position of the geyser. The geyser was uh, designed that each tub has a different position and you'll see depending on your tub this could be on the other side even sometimes it can be on the side closer to the overflow on some bathtubs. So you just have to locate yours and look at it to see how it was installed in the factory and then uh, go ahead and do the replacement. So it's really simple. What you start off with is turning your breaker off uh, or unplugging, like in this case we have a plug, you unplug this power cable, the motor is the power source to the geyser. So you unplug the cable. You don't have to touch the motor at all. You can leave it like it is. This is the power cable for the geyser. You remove it, disconnect it like that, and your hose is going to a hot water line. Okay, so what you need to do is here, I have, just for the purpose of the video, I have a valve, a ball valve here, that this would be the water going in, and now you have your valve here, so you would turn that off like that. And mine is pre-unscrewed uh, a little, what you do is you just unscrew the valve or the hose from the valve like that. And I'm almost done, here we go. And then your hose is off. So this would be stationary and closed. You could keep a bucket handy because there could be a little bit of water in this hose. So maybe have a bucket handy. If there is water, you can just drop it in the, in the bucket. So. Let me put this aside for now, we won't be needing it. Now what's left to do is the, a little bit like the turbine, the geyser is held by these metal clamps onto these boots here. One here, one here, and there's also an internally wired small ground cable which is linked by the power cable and goes into the ground of your outlet. So essentially what we need to do is keep in mind the position that it's in and we can start unscrewing these fasteners, the ones that are closest to the part will make it easier to uh, reinstall. So here we go, we start unscrewing. That one's pretty much loose. Again, holding the part, unscrew that one. That one's pretty much loose here. And I pre-unscrewed uh, this nut here for the ground. You're left with a nut like that. Put it down and just remove that small wire, which has a lug on it. And now you're ready to pull it off. So here we go. And one side is off. And just pull the other one out. And there we go, it's out. All right, so now we have our new geyser here. And so we need to remember what position it was in before. And so we can go ahead and push it back into place into the rubber boot. Push it down like so. And then we can scoot the metal clamp away and then make sure that it's all the way down like that. And so we'll turn it a little bit more like it was. There we go. Now we have this metal clamp to reattach. Put it back in place. Again, over tightening this, I know I mention it a lot, but it's really important to not go overboard with this. So just tighten it down, there we go. As soon as you feel the tension, just do a quarter turn and that'll be enough 
Uh, same thing with this one, hold it down, screw it back in. There we go. Now we have this ground wire here. Make sure it's all the way down like that. And you put your nut in place. I won't screw it all the way because there's a nylon fitting in there, but you know what to do. You just screw it down right up, right up, up uh, until it's touching the lug. And so that would be what you would do. The only thing left now after that is reconnecting the power cable to the motor like this. And remember your power is still off. And then you would bring your hose back, your new hose. And imagine this is your fixed valve and you would just tighten it down like that. And now you can turn your valve on, make sure there's no leaks anywhere, and you're ready to plug your motor back in. And uh, also in Canada, I guess you would rewire your plug into your junction box and turn your power on. Well, that concludes this video to uh, how to replace the geyser on your bathtub. And uh, so uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call at 1-888-763-4444. It will be our pleasure to help you out. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.